Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona and I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder and that's all I am. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not a dietitian. So whatever you see here, it's just opinion and experience based on working with people as well as myself. So I'm gonna be honest. We're, the only reason I'm doing this video is because I'm eating like Evelyn Reed today and I kind of want to announce it to the world that that's going to be up tomorrow on my second channel so I am I'm micro feeding as in like I'm eating pretty much every hour hence I have some noodle soup here which is just getting ready but guys so I'm gonna to have to eat during this video because like I need to eat a lot today and unless I eat pretty much like every hour uh it's not gonna happen so I'll try and obviously cut out eating noises. I have tissue, should it get messy? And uh, yeah, go from there. So that's happening like today. This, I should also say that it's not me taking the piss out of Amber at all. In any of the videos I do on my second channel, it's more of an experiment. Um, just seeing how other people's diets, lifestyles, how they affect me and what I think of them. Just for, for just from the perspective of somebody like myself, who trains a lot, who eats very healthy. Uh, do I think it's feasible? Do I think it's not? And I'm actually quite... I do often... I often don't recommend a lot of diets just because I don't think they're healthy and I don't think they're realistic. So definitely go and check out my second channel if you haven't already. If not, obviously keep an eye out on my community tab tomorrow. I will actually upload the video there. I am also going to do... Put that out of my hands. I'm like a child when I've got something. I'm always like playing with it. I'm also going to start doing Vlogtober. So that will start tomorrow. But I think what I'll do is... I don't know if I'll have a chance to upload tomorrow. What I might do is film tomorrow and then upload the next day. Because obviously like I want to film for a day and then like edit it the next day. Uh, I did say somewhere else, I'm not sure where, but basically don't expect necessarily every day large vlogs. It may just be me chatting on the way back from the gym because if I'm doing a challenge like next week, I was going to start it tomorrow, but honestly, like I'm just doing too many back to back challenges. So I kind of want to have like a couple of days off and then in the weekend I'm going to eat cooked Dutch food. So I want to have a few days off of not doing like a whole day worth, whole days worth of filming. So what I'm going to do is next week I'm going to, for example, I'm going to eat and train like how I would do during prep and show you what I would go through during a prep. Uh, I'll probably do that for like three days to be honest, but those days where I'm eating and training like that, I will probably not vlog a lot. I'll probably just have a little bit of chat on the way back from the carpet. So there's something to upload, but don't expect insane vlogs. Also don't expect me to go off and do like crazy things like October or Halloween. It's not massive in the UK. Obviously there is pandemic going on, can't do an awful lot. But my mother is coming the 10th of October, which is going to be really exciting. I'll see if I can get her to do a video with me. I don't know if she'll do a reaction, but she'll definitely be in the in the vlogs for sure. I think, anyway, unless she wants to say a little bit. But I don't think so. You guys will know who she is. She's in the comment section. She's one of my moderators. So, But she'll definitely be in vlogs. And no, she doesn't have to quarantine. Sweden doesn't have to quarantine. Since the 12th of September, they didn't have to quarantine. So the second that happened, straight away, we booked some flights. And she's coming. And this is the first time... I'm seeing her in like over a year. So I'm really excited about that. But alas, I'm gonna shut up because I have a lot of things to do today. This is the let's talk about money, bow, taste test and a haul uh, video, vlog. I haven't seen it yet. I will probably skip through parts of it. So I would suggest you watch, if you wanna watch the whole video, I will link the video down below for you to watch because I know I'm gonna be cutting out large bits. If I have nothing to add, I'd cut it out. I'm not just gonna sit here in silence because it's not transformative content, is it? But that's a different discussion for a different day. Let's get into this. Can you all see me? I think so. I think so. Hello, you guys. New vlog. Maybe you left the car on the walk. No. Yeah, it was an accident. Well, they're okay. Got a lot of uh, Becky Slipknot t-shirts. So right now we're actually um, going to the... A Slipknot reminds me so much of going to my coach. He always plays Slipknot whenever he's saying Slipknot or Yin Yer. That's like his thing. I really like Yin Yer actually. If you're into metal, like I highly recommend. There's not... I think it's hard for women to... I'm gonna go off. Like, they... I use these videos just to talk shit, guys. Like, I'll give some commentary on her, but may... mostly it's just me talking about other things. So I like Yin Yer because it's very hard, I find, for women to 
do metal good because not many of them are like truly badass, do you know what I mean? And I think the ladies from Arch Enemy have done a fantastic job. Uh, I really like Otep, like this well old school. Yinya, she does a really good job. I don't know, what's her name? Katja? Katja, I think? Or something like that. She's Eastern European anyway. So yeah, I don't actually know. Let me know. Comment down below. Are there any female, other female metal bands where the female does the growling as opposed to sort of the more um, opera singing? Which is cool too, I, there, but there's time for a place for it. I do prefer the sort of more harder metal. By the way, somebody actually messaged me and they were like, ah, oh, I know you like metal, you should check these bands out. And I did. And honestly, they're on my playlist and I really like them. People ask me about my Spotify playlists. It literally is, if you search my, it's just my first name, my last name, 1986, so there you go, that's my Spotify. If, you, if you're interested, I don't really create a lot of playlists because I usually play just the playlists that it automatically creates based on what I'm listening to. But there are some playlists, I do have, I did start creating a playlist uh, for this year. But usually it's like, oh, throughout the year I just add things to it, but on this playlist. Somebody emailed me and they were like, you should check out these bands, apparently they're from like where this person lived. And they're called Conducting From The Grave and through the eyes of the dead, and honestly, good, good, very aggressive. I'm confused, is she like laying back a lot? She sits really high, and it's... Uh. The reason why is because, I showed you guys in a past video, a past vlog, so yeah. there, is, um, there are these two picture frames that I have. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like these out. I was trying to think of where to get gas because we get a little bit. Oh, so we're going to the store, you know, and it, um, so we are off to see the wizard. I feel like we're probably out of focus. But, and then the phone is in focus. I don't know though, I can't tell. The camera's definitely moving though. You think the camera's moving? Yes. Amber seems to be sitting really high up in this car. It, it kind of makes no sense because she's quite short, but she's like almost touching her head with the roof. It's so sad to see her, like how she's sitting. You know, I can only imagine the struggle it must be for her to get in the car and get out of it. But then at the same time, you know, I'll be curious. I'm honestly curious to see how I'm gonna feel. That's the main reason I want to do this challenge is I want to see how I'm gonna feel on it because I think I'm gonna feel like crap. Honestly, frankly, like I'm just not used to eating so much processed food, so much convenient foods, convenience food, convenience foods, so many carbohydrates, and I'm not counting calories. I'm just gonna eat. I'm literally just gonna eat whatever it comes up to. I'll just eat every time I eat something. I'll add it to my fitness pal, and we'll see what it comes out to at the end of the day. We're gonna have to do something about that because when we're vlogging in the car, how are we gonna vlog in the car with that right there? Is she using her actual camera? Because what she should do is we have it in our car and it's like one of those things you, you, you use, like it uses sucker, like a sucker pad thing where you stick it onto the window and then you just, you can rotate it around and you just uh, screw in your um, camera and you just move it around depending on where you sit. And also it doesn't show like any vibration in the road. It's good. <laughs> There's nowhere else to put it, huh? Mm -hmm. huh. Look at Becky's new hat. Jason. That is one of your best hats yet, babe. You think so? Yeah, I love that. Becky got some eggs and we got some chimichangas. So that's everything. Okay, so I just skipped a few minutes because it was just a lot of Walmart. I think they were in Target, something like that. Uh, the whole of their uh, Halloween stuff. And then the food they bought, which is just like, it, it's, I don't know what to say, it's just a typical Amberlynn Reed haul, you know. Just everything you expect, lots of convenience foods, lots of microwave foods, lots of food that has no nutrition, basically. Hello everyone, so it is the next day, so they don't really match with what I'm wearing, but... I mean, they look bad. Sorry, I just cut out a bit because she's talking about taking her pets to the vet and that I think it was a wasabi rarity. One of her cats has potentially got an autoimmune disease. I didn't really know what to say to that, guys. There's not much for me to add to that. Sorry, I'm playing with my uh, noodles. Um, she looks incredibly sick here. It's very concerning how yellow she looks around the eyes, just how pale she is. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm pale too. But there is like, you have like a sick ill looking pale and there is just people that had to have no pigment that's me i'm basically translucent but you can just tell she's so, so she looks like she's got scurvy or something like that her wounds don't heal look so she's had that spot for how long a couple of weeks you know a couple of weeks ago i know i'm i'm, I'm comparing myself to amber which is dumb i know but you know how i burn my hand look that's literally pretty much healed there's there's no scabbing nothing left i burn myself pretty badly here on the oven so that happened literally like three weeks ago and that's that's already completely healed mm. Whereas she is still trying to, you know, heal from a little pick at her face. It's really concerning. Uh, 
I know she says, I don't think she has diabetes because it wasn't on her medical records, right? But, which is surprising. I think it's incredibly interesting to see how resilient Amber actually is. Her body is, it's a bit of a, me a, me a medical mystery, isn't it? Chazam. I don't think I've ever noticed, but this hole in my ear is a lot lower than this one. I got my ears pierced when I was just a baby, and I think my ears just kind of decided to grow in a weird way. It's really annoying because this earring's always a lot lower. I don't think that happens. I think what happens is they just pierce it a bit lower, but I don't know. I'm not an expert on ear growth, you know. I can admit if I don't know something. And ear growth is not one of those things that I know anything about. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I don't remember what I filmed in yesterday's video at all. So she just talked about how her pets are fine, they're healthy, wasabi, uh, no, Twinkie is a little bit overweight, uh, but no longer obese, which is good. I'm happy to hear that the poor little doggy is no longer overweight. Oh, it's, it's still overweight, it's no longer obese. I just still don't get it, you know, how how is it that, considering, I know this is maybe like a topic that's gonna like trigger some people, but like, this is just my opinion. So how is it that having obese animals is considered animal abuse, but having obese children is, not considered child abuse. I'm sure, I know it's more nuanced than that, but the reality is, is that it's unhealthy and it could lead to an early death. So, and a lot of medical problems. It's just interesting, just interesting. Um, she's talking about having bowel. I don't think I've ever had bowel, have I? I'm not sure actually, but I think it's probably one of those things that from a takeout place, I don't know how good it's gonna be. I think you're probably gonna have to go to an actual Chinese restaurant and try it there. I like the ones whenever a Strictly Dumpling uh, goes to places and they have like the soup in them. They look really nice. I would love to try that. But um, yeah, you know, I think I think our girl's having a lot of takeout because it's just super easy and so much so much more convenient for her. I'll be definitely interested to know if there's like any studies out there in regards to obesity increasing and the ease of having takeout delivered to your door. Because obviously if it's just at the click of a... It's a lot easier, isn't it? I wonder if there's a correlation. I'm sure there is. I thought I would do a little taste test for when it gets here. So I figured, you know what? Let's do this thing. So they're five, four minutes away because I'm watching the little thingy with sugar. And when it gets here, we'll do a little taste test. Okay. So my food has arrived. I think this might be it. The bow. Ah! Nope. This is the pot stickers. So I just got a few pot stickers. Wait, and on gyoza. Dumplings, yeah? I've got some of those for later. And spring rolls. And Weird. I'm going to get tight. All right. I was gonna make my own orange chicken, I'm not guys. Because I don't wanna cook a lot of food and then have loads left over and just bin it. So, and also I was gonna have no takeout then and I figured for an Amberlynn challenge, I'm gonna have to eat some takeout. So I'm just gonna order something else from the Chinese, which is gonna be some fried chicken, some deep fried chicken with some sweet, sweet syrupy sauce on top of it, which is basically what orange chicken is. Just won't be orange chicken flavored. It's just gonna be like sweet and sour or something like that probably. And uh, I'll have some noodles, I'll have some rice, I've got spring rolls, I've got gyoza. So a massive, calorically dense Chinese takeout feast will ensue tonight. What we'll do is, so if you're curious to see how I'm going to fare after having eaten this, stay tuned and I'll vlog it. I'll vlog how I'm feeling tomorrow and what I'm doing to order in order to sort of like combat the, or the excess calories and the excess carbohydrates. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll name it appropriately so you know what vlog to look out for. So keep an eye out for that. They're hot Asian buns. I've always wanted to try these. Oh my god. Number two. I'm so nervous for this. Oh my. So I think you just eat them like this? Like. Look how cute it is though. Okay. Her camera is so good. Did you see how easily it focused between the two things? It takes me ages for it to get on focus or something. I have to like click on the screen and like move it in and out. It's teriyaki chicken on the inside. It looks a bit dry to me. I don't know. It looks like just like a bun with some meat inside, which is exactly what it is. But it looks a bit dry. Maybe they're not. Maybe the dough is like really soft and airy and fluffy, but this looks a bit dry to me. My green onion stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, I just got a little kung pao chicken bowl. So I've never ate from here before. Let's try it by the pot sticker. Guys, what's she calling these things? A pot sticker. That's what I'm hearing. What's a pot sticker? It's a gyoza, isn't it? Or am I... Do I just not know what this is? Not shabby. Okay, so I've been eating a new pair of pants. 
I like all the plants they have. It makes such a difference to your house. We bought a lot of plants a couple of weeks ago and it really brightens up a living room. I adore having plants. I might have to go to the garden center again when my mom is here. So I'm going to try them on for you guys. They're from Torrid. This is her second item ever from Torrid. So look at where we already been. Is the bed that she bought i don't understand why people are losing their shit that she spent six grand on a bed not being funny but a good bed is incredibly incredibly extremely important if you have especially something like amber who is probably gonna have a lot of spinal problems for her to have a good bed is extremely important in a good bed you're gonna probably keep that for the rest of your life like a good mattress you can probably keep for like i don't know it's like 25 years obviously clean it and put a mattress topper on top so like it doesn't get dirty but like having a good bed and having good mattress is not that crazy. I don't know what we spent for our mattress, but but our mattress is like memory. It has like spring and memory foam, and it has like I don't know. It has like three different systems in it. Fucking fantastic! It's like a good bed is such an investment. There are some things I would never be cheap on, and like a bed is one of them. Well, I'm not in a I'm not in a position to spend six grand on a bed, but if I had the money for it, I would probably spend like that sort of money on a good bed and a good mattress for sure. It's just a shame she's not been using it. Right. I would like to sit down and just talk a bit. I kind of feel like this is dumb that I even have to like bring this up or that this is even a topic on my channel. I'm almost 30 years old and I make my own money, which I'm very grateful for the audience that I have because you guys make it to where I have a roof over my head. That goes for all sort of entertainers. I do consider myself an entertainer online because I'm literally entertaining people for whatever reasons it is. I am entertaining you in some way, some, somehow. Whether she's not lying now. You, have to say, you can say what you want, but she she does manage to captivate an audience she's still getting all right his views they were down for a little while they're crawling back up again so it's an author an actress um a dancer like our audience is what makes us be able to have an income and i'm really really grateful what i do with my money is then up to me i am not saying this stuff in a condescending way i'm just trying to have a adult to adult conversation that what a stranger does with their money or even a family member or a friend does with their money is up to only them. You guys see that I post a lot of hauls. I am vlogging almost every single day, posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So you guys are seeing those hauls. And a lot of people are like, you're spending your money, all you do is spend money, you probably have no money, you're probably in debt. The thing is like, all right, let's look at the social blade. Uh, the social blade. I sounded like a fucking boomer there, didn't I? All right, uh, social blade, Amberlynn Reed. So, as per her social blade, from what we can see, and I can I can say the social blade is pretty accurate. Now, bear in mind that she puts in a lot of ads. So she probably is earning around four grand a month. I would say, maybe even closer to five grand. For her to spend like, I don't know, she does spend a lot though. She spends like $300 or something like that every time she hauls. So it is her money. I think it'd be interesting to see if she's gonna have problems paying for like her medical bills or maybe there's not a problem maybe she's insured i don't really know how it works but i think uh, you know people are just to be fair she's never even complained about money problems so what difference does it make she probably did save a lot she probably was earning maybe at one point 10 20 grand a month maybe more than that she probably has a nice little buffer i don't know but yeah social blade is is fairly accurate so i'm looking at my social blade this is my social blade and to be honest this is actually low this is low this is less than my own you know not that i'm not, definitely not earn mega bucks doing this but this is less than my own so maybe she does earn more maybe she does earn maybe like between six to ten grand a month as possible no i'm not i make sure that i have a budget that i follow every single month you are not just making money to pay bills. You're not just living life to pay bills. You know, whether I spend $80 on four pairs of earrings or I spend the $80 on a room for a hotel or I spend the $80 on a purse, like that's, that's no one's concern or business but mine. I to be fair, like, she probably never goes on holidays. You've got to think like, we go away now and again. And like, it always is expensive because that's what it is when you're on holiday, it's just expensive. So for her, for the fact that she's never, sorry, I paused in a really dumb place here, but the fact that she never goes away on holidays or anything like that, she never stays away. Like the last time they went away, when was that last year when they stayed in the hotel for three nights in um, where they are now? 
they say it like she goes away once a year for a couple of days and that's it you know I'm fair enough if you want to spend your money on earrings instead of a holiday up to you I suppose I would per personally rather have memories and experiences over earrings but then it is her life not mine I'm very, very responsible with my money, and I know to you guys, it doesn't seem like it because I post so many hauls. And trust me, if I were you, I'd be watching me, or Amberlynn, and I'd be like, okay, this girl does not know how to, you know, save money, blah, 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 but it's like, we already have that. <laughs> I forgot she brought back the comments of the day. Energy, if you read the comments, it's pretty bad. I always get really nervous to do curvy comment, but I always pick the one that I land on. I use commentpicker.com. Today's curvy comment is from Karma's Law. Have I gotten you before? Karma's Law. That sounds so familiar. They said, hypocrisy at its finest, 1508, but it's okay for you to judge people that judge you. That just shows what kind of person you are. So I feel like if you are judging someone based on that, that does goes to show the type of person you are and whether that be me judging them on their moral grounds and just like the sensitivity or the non-sensitivity or the lack of empathy or sympathy that they have within themselves, then okay. I just- She's kind of right. Kind of. I don't know what to say to that. Like, I think it's inherent that we all, like, judging happens. Subconscious judging is just something that I think is just inherent in human nature. I, I guarantee if I would ever see somebody like Amber in real life, just her sheer size, because I, I genuinely can't imagine it, seeing it with my own eyes, I would probably take a double take and take a look because it's just so highly unusual. And it's not necessarily because it's a good or a bad thing, it's just that it's unusual. You know, would I judge her? I don't know if I would judge her. Maybe you do subconsciously, but there is a, there is a thing such as unconscious bias, right? Like, you can't... I think subconsciously, we probably maybe have an aversion to people who are amber size because of the fact that it, it, it shows sickness, it shows disease, it means that people are unwell. And usually... I don't know, I think just subconsciously you probably, you want to surround yourself with people that are like healthy and strong, you know, as opposed to sick and weak. But I could be wrong, I could be completely wrong. I think there's just a lot within human nature that a lot of it does go on just subconscious biases or unconscious biases. I don't know. That's, yeah, that's an interesting point. That's an interesting point. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what I would think if I would see her. I don't know if I would feel sorry for her. I don't know if I'd just be incre incredibly curious. I don't know. It's I've just never seen somebody that is like her. So I, f I find it, I think I'd find it fascinating. But you know, would I have a bias of like, uh, assuming that like they would eat a lot? Yeah, I would have stuff like that because you don't get to be big like that unless you eat a lot. So um, I don't know. If anybody knows of any interesting studies on this matter, feel free to share them. I don't think that anyone should judge anyone based on someone's deformities or something that's wrong with them, whether that be mental illness or physical illness. Anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. So, there we go. There wasn't really an awful lot for me to say. It's taken me quite some time to film this, but it'll probably be a quite a short video for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go, I have a busy day ahead. I have quite a few check-ins, I have emails to write, I have a plan to adjust. Busy, busy, but it's all good. Um, yeah, keep an eye out for the video for tomorrow. And if you're interested to see how I'm going to feel afterwards, definitely check out my vlogs. I highly recommend you watch my vlogs anyway. They're quite fun. I do a lot of bread making. <laughs> Mostly. Most most of my vlogs is just me eating and making food and preparing food and making bread. I'm definitely going to make another bread tomorrow. I'm, I've, I've been going back and forth with some of some of my subscribers on ideas for the bread. And uh, yeah, I've, I've, I'm getting the hang of perfecting it. So I'm, I'm on the pro the right word i'm on a mission i'm on a mission that's it i'm on a quest to find the perfect bread recipe so if you're interested in that come join with me join me in my quest all kinds of people are welcome and i would love to hear your bread recipes right on that note i'm gonna go comment like subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye